So there has been a new update for uh, Icon 7 and Character Creator. It looks like we're getting pretty close to Icon 8. I was reading about the new changes and uh, yeah, they seem pretty big. So we're gonna start with uh, Character Creator because uh, there is a new plugin, it's called uh, Headshot. And for what I read, this allows you to create um, 3D heads by using photographs. Alright guys, so here is a Character Creator. And uh, you can see that it looks a little different, uh, the interface. Okay, um, everything looks newer and uh, the models now have even more detail. Okay, so let's just zoom in here and uh, let's uh, have a look at the detail. And it looks super detailed, even though I have this on uh, low resolution. Okay, because my computer is um, literally crap, which means that uh, if I can run this, uh, so can you. So look at this stuff. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a lot of detail. You can even see the veins inside the uh, the eye. And like I just mentioned, this is on a uh, low resolution. I don't think you can get more detail than this. Maybe you can, but um, this looks pretty pretty crazy. And I guess uh, and I guess that's the goal to um, make it so detailed that um, it's hard to tell if you're looking at a real model or you're looking at a person. I'm gonna make another video about uh, all these specifics. Everything new in the um, character creator. Um, actually, if you don't have a character creator, download it right now. Uh, the link is down below. I'm sure your computer can run it. Uh, if my PC can run this, so can yours. So let's uh, click on a headshot. Okay, assuming that uh, you downloaded the um, headshot. And uh, this is supposed to create a 3D model based on a, a picture. Okay, so what do we do here? I guess we have to drag a picture here. Uh, so let me just uh, pause this and I'm going to download a couple of pictures. Uh, maybe Scarlett Johansson kind of thing or Ariana Grande or something. I don't know. So let me just pause the video. Okay, so we're back and uh, I downloaded a couple of pictures. So let me just um, open them. It says here that you have to drag them or you can just click on this button load. We're not, we don't want to make a fish. Uh, we're gonna make, uh, let's make Scarlett Johansson. We have some settings here. Uh, I guess I can leave this as default. So let's uh, click on generate. See what happens. It's now generating a 3D model based on that picture. A lot of people think uh, you have to spend hours and hours learning how to do um, 3D modeling and another 55,000 years learning to rig facial animation, which I have done for a long time and I can uh, assure you is no easy task. Oh, well, it's not hard, it's just, you know, it is, but it is time consuming. I don't think there is anyone who can just sit down one afternoon in front of their computer and say, now today I want to do facial animation, okay? So and you begin creating these amazing models in one afternoon without any previous experience. But uh, this is exactly what happens with a uh, character creator. Uh, you can uh, literally not know anything about uh, 3D animation or 3D modeling, and um, you can basically just sit down for sit down for the first time and um, use the software, and voila, you're you're making 3D models just just like that. It's it's pretty freaking amazing. We're just gonna wait for this now. Uh, it does take some time, so be patient. I uh, remind you that uh, my computer it's crap. It's like an i7 computer from from the 1940s, okay? Literally. Uh, I believe this model was right after the ENIAC computer came out. Um, and uh, somehow they had to predict the um, uh, PCI Express uh, slots, okay? So um, that's what um, that's why I was able to mount a uh, $300 video car on my computer. Um, actually, if I sold this PC without that video car, uh, I probably wouldn't even get like 200 bucks. All right, so here it is, and uh, let's see what we got. Did the computer guess it right? And uh, I don't know about you guys, but that looks like Scarlett Johansson without hair. <laughs> Just from that photograph, this is uh, this is crazy. Uh, which means that you can also load uh, one of your pictures and um, and create a 3D model of yourself, or maybe a friend or something. Your girlfriend, your girlfriend, if you have one. Uh, but uh, I know a lot of geeks don't, okay? They are married to their computers and uh, Fortnite. Uh, I guess now she needs some hair. I'm just gonna use the default long hair. I should download those packages. They're free. And as I mentioned, if you don't have a character creator, download it, the link is down below. Uh, that's pretty close, actually. That's like a younger um, Scarlett Johansson. 
And wow, considering the fact that we only used a random picture from the internet. Okay, that's that's actually pretty good. Uh, her eyes are kind of green. Okay. Uh, I think you have to download this. Let me just uh, drag this here, see what happens. Yeah, it's gonna take me to the, uh, to the website. Okay, so let's install it. The, okay, so we get the different eyes now. Uh, let's uh, drag that in here. And there you go, that looks a lot better now. I think her eyes are a bit more green than that. She has very green eyes. Replace. There we go. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe a little too green. I mean, she's not a vampire. All right, so there you go. Uh, just from a photograph, we were able to create this here. That's uh, that's insane. That's um, maybe with a uh, different picture, we can get better results. And the software is able to build a mesh based on a on a picture. That's that's pretty good. Let's try Ariana Grande. Okay, female. And let's try no mask. I don't know what that means. Sixty. It's almost there. Okay, so there is Ariana Grande in the character creator. Uh, you obviously are going to need um, hair, okay? So and that's just from one photograph. <laughs> we can do we can do cartoon hair if you wanted to. That's actually pretty good, actually. I like that. You can change the color of the hair. Uh, let me see. Try purple, pink hair. That's that that suits her a bit better. All right. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of these um, uh, marks here. Okay, so let's load a picture of a geek. Okay, some dork. I know this guy here is uh, he's, he's pretty dorky. Okay, switch this to male. Let's let's just try see what see what happens. Okay, see what happens. I think I forgot to change the body. Okay, so just waiting for the dork. Yeah, I found this picture randomly on the internet. Uh, he looks like a crazy game developer who likes to uh, uh, make games and stuff and and videos. I don't know. I could be I could be wrong. All right, so just waiting for the uh, results to see what happens. Will the picture look like Sparkman? Oh, is that a Sparkman? I don't think it is. Who is this geek? That's pretty pretty close, I guess. I mean, it's um. I think the hair needs to change. What's up guys, welcome to another video, my name is Sparkman, and um, today uh, I can't move my lips for some reason, what's going on? <laughs> if you take your time, you can probably do a better job. Okay guys, try it out with your picture, see what you get. Alright guys, post a picture of you down below, I will show it in my next video. Alright, I can't open my lips for some reason, but uh, try it yourself, download Character Creator, and um, the Headshot plugin. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video, bye now.